Hi, I'm the Barbecue Butcher. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to prepare a flat iron steak. This cut comes off what we call the oyster blade, uh, the blade shoulder. There's so many different names for it. Um, this is off a Carrara Wagyu 8 to 9. And if you have a look here, there's all the magic marbling in there. And yeah, we'll get onto it. So first thing, this comes from the shoulder blade of the beef, and it has the skin on here, but we'll do that. And we're gonna take this into two different parts. So the flat iron steak is gonna get cut one upper layer steak and one lower. And in the middle, there's this big piece of gristle where you can see here, I can't even cut it or do anything with it. So we're gonna take that out of the middle. So years ago, when I was an apprentice, this was just used for a stewing steak in a hot pot, crock pot, slow cooking, but not as we know slow cooking now, not on uh, slow cooked barbecues. This was slow cooked in your oven for multiple hours. So anyway, we'll get on to it straight away. We're gonna take off the, the skin stuff here first. So again, with your knife, you're angling, but up, and pushing up because you don't want to cut into the meat you can take this stuff which is fine and then just come down towards you but remember always pull to that side and up again because you want to take as much of this stuff off because it's very very chewy so if you take it all off and wow <laughs> that very looking forward to eating this mm. And then there's another bit of gristle here. Take that part there off. And give a little bit to my little superstar beside me. Put it on his back. <laughs> here you go, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I wasn't meaning to tease him then. <laughs> Alrighty. So we've got that part done. Taking all that off. Come in about two centimeters, cut down, and then you're gonna hit hit the gristle right there. Angle with your knife. These, and there you can see the gristle there, the light I've made. They don't what we call in the in the meat industry year. So there's a lot to make them because it's very difficult difficult to get all the meat left on and not but you just take your time so that's why oyster blades are popular from when years ago they used to be a very carry on going down there and then you can see here can't even cut it just barely that's the gristle that we're going to cut out of it. There's one of the upper part of the steak. We'll come back and finish that in a minute. These parts here, you can use those. But I've got a little friend here that does that. So now we're over, we'll turn from the underside, we'll turn it over, and we're going to take off the silver skin off the top. So again, angle your knife, push it up. Easy as that. And when you got that back, remember you let the knife do the work, don't you do the work. Again, in, down. And just slowly, slowly pull this. Again, this is all gristle, it's worth nothing. Just throw it in the bin. People say make sausages, but why put chewy stuff in sausages? When I do sausages, do it properly. Um, we've got videos coming out soon on sausage making. So it's going to be pretty cool. Again, this one, this is a different way of doing it. I was going like this, but this is just a different style. So you can pull out and just pull along. And just use the meat and knife blade. And you can just see the marbling. <laughs> That's so cool. 
and this is going to be a very f fast fry steak and I was reading that this iron steak has been by a, a big university in America was the second most tender steak on the beef cut this way the first is the I would have guessed but this one is number two which is very very interesting especially when it comes from such a gristle part of the animal so we've taken all the back part off and now we're going to take this other part off so flip them over and again under here grab hold of something so you got some stuff to hold on to and follow your knife down the inside like that and then go slice and then push it back like that and then you just push your way down and so on very one of the most awkward things to do in, in butchery is this cut because you get a lot of wastage as I've already said there we go okay that's just all uh, there's a little bit on there you know who we're going to give that to the, the four-legged barbecue butcher and then on this part here is just a little bit more gristle take that all off and then that'll expose this marbling that's gonna taste awesome trim it all up take these little bits off and that one's nearly done a little bit there and then you could straighten it all up if you wanted to um, to make it more even so if you wanted to straighten it all up just come straight down like that don't really want to cut into that because look at that that is awesome so that's one so you'd get these just quick quick cook on and then we'll grab the other one and get that ready so this one is the top version of it and you take out the gristle from it in there it has a bit of a cap here and um, some meat what we call a cap because it sits on two layers of it so you want to get rid of that There's a bit of gristle there take it off and that so if you can see that what we had and we've turned it into two different steaks so you got the bottom and the top so that what what we have there is a Karawa Wagyu flat iron steak and this came out of the oyster blade or the cross cut and uh, it's pretty marbled as you can see so it's going to go down a treat at dinner, to, to dinner tonight so remember to like and subscribe to my channel and hopefully you enjoyed this video